Hey there. So I ended up making a, um, a canopy or a, um, I think it's called a bimini top for my Intex Excursion 5. And I want to show you what it looks like and how I made it, all the materials and everything. So here you go. So this is the, um, that's the finished top. Um, here you go. So it folds up. Um, so I've got a hinge right here, which I just made out of little um, small, uh, um, I don't know, pieces of metal I got at Lowe's. They've got a hole on each end. There's one on this side. And then I just use quarter inch, um, <clears throat> quarter inch bolts and wing nuts. So there's a hinge there at the um, the piece that goes to the rear of the boat, and then there's another one down here, the same thing. So I knew I wanted the weight to be towards the back of the boat. So I took this, it's all one inch PVC. So I took this one inch PVC, put an elbow on each end. Um, this is kind of a weird setup. I know I could have done this better, but it just goes through the, uh, the oar holder and this unscrews and then uh, this thing pops off as well so the whole thing can come out so it hinges right here it hinges right here one pole goes to the back the one that hinges right there goes all the way up to the front of the boat and then I bought these um, I don't know what these are called but these little PVC um, holders and then screwed this piece of PVC in, took a, a half inch piece of PVC, did the same thing at the bottom, so that just rests on top of there, this screws in. This is the only part that's not glued. So when, I ready, when I'm ready to take it apart, I just pop that off. This is glued, um, and I'll show you what it looks like when I take it apart, but um, then at the back, I've got um, this nylon rope or whatever kind of rope it is. And I use these little um, wire holders, clamp the rope down there, and then I've got some carabiners on each um, of the four corners. So there's rope in the, on the back left, rope on the back right that goes up to that corner. There's a rope on the front left, and same thing on the right. Um, I, at first I didn't have the ones on the front, but realize as you're going into the wind, um, it kind of picks up on the canopy a bit. So, um, yeah, the ropes help out a lot. All right, so I'm going to take it apart and show you what it looks like um, when it's flattened out. All right, so <clears throat> here it is all folded up. Um, when, when the thing folds down, all you do is just keep folding the tarp in half. Oh, by the way, the tarp is um, like a $6 tarp that I got from Harbor Freight Tools. And I cut it to size. And there we go. So the, uh, at Harbor Freight, you can buy this little punch kit to uh, put grommets in your tarp. And so you just punch a hole with this little tool. Um, you put that thing on the ground, you put one of these on top of that, it goes through the tarp, you put one of these on top of that, and then you smack it with a hammer and you add extra grommet holes to your tarp. So you can see uh, the gold ones here is what I, what I added. Alright, so... Um, Anyway, to, to open this thing up, uh, just un well, you, you don't even have to unfold it, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, so when I'm, when I'm driving, the, the rear um, ropes, when this folds up, I just wrap this all the way around. I wrap the ropes all the way around the tarp and then hook it to this front hook here, and that keeps it from flying up when it's in the wind 
when I'm pulling it down the road on my uh, uh, trailer. All right, anyway, so to open it, you just grab the grab the string on the on one side, grab the string on the other side. See if I can do this one-handed and pull it up. stuck on something back there. Yeah. Stuck on my trailer. So it goes up that far. Uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. One of the clips goes all the way down to here. There we go. So that one's up. And then the other clip goes to the other side, right there. And then these things uh, twist up, and then it goes into that hole. And the reason I put that on there is because all the weight rests right here on these on these uh, pipes. So um, I took um, a half inch PVC, I don't know, I have no idea how long this is. Um, took half inch PVC and used the heat gun, put it in a vise. It's a lot easier to do with two hands. In just a second. All right, there we go. So both of those are in. It's got good support all the way. You can see it doesn't, it really doesn't move at all. Um, and then the front rope is on here. So for these side pieces, um, again, this is half inch PVC. All I did was take a, um, a heat gun and heated it up for, I don't know, like a minute or something like that. Put it inside of a vise and um, bent it while it was soft. So that's how I got that elbow right there. I tried to use a 45 degree PVC elbow, but it was too sharp of an angle. So I guess that's probably around 30 degrees or something like that. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the for how the uh, mechanics of it work. At the top, you can see I use these wire clips. Uh, there's one on this side of it. There's one on the other side of it. And that keeps it from being able to slide back and forth. And I put the, the rope right through the grommet and then onto the clip. And then for the other um, grommets, um, let's see, there. there's one on the corner, one on that corner, and then three in the middle. And I just used a um, uh, self-tapping screw and a washer. And it holds it on there real good. And same thing at the front. There's uh, one of those wire clips there. Three grommets in the middle. And one on the other end. So that's it. Um, I don't know what the measurements are for the thing. But well, you can kind of eyeball it and see that the, the boat is 12 feet long. So the whole tarp's probably, I don't know, 10? Something like that. And I think the, uh, I think it's five feet wide. Yeah, it is, because I, I bought 10, 10 foot PVC pipes and just cut them in half. So that's how wide it is from, from that end to that end. Uh, that's all I can think of. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment or whatever, and I'll see what I can do to help you figure out how to make yours. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.